Hello everybody, welcome back. This is going to be episode 28 for our Legendary Empire campaign for Total War Warhammer. I'm Strategy Professor. If you just joined us for the first time, this is a pure campaign, which means we don't abuse auto-resolve, we don't uh, assassinate wars on the campaign map, and we don't do any other shenanigans and tomfoolery that might otherwise give us an unfair advantage over the AI. We signed up for a tough campaign when we picked Legendary, and that's what we want. I think it makes for a better playing experience, and hopefully a better viewing experience. So, let's go ahead and get back in here. So... This is just, you know, your run-of-the-mill standard rebel army with two steam tanks, demigriffs, you know, great swords, just everything you could possibly want on turn whatever we're on, 42 or whatever. Uh, so we're attacking it with Carl. We've got our little, you know, tier one brigade here. Um, so what we're going to have to do is... Like, this, the cost of this army is probably, like, twice as much as mine, if not more. Um... We're going to put Carl into the steam tank. Maybe two of them. If he could tank both steam tanks, that would be nice. But I th they're probably not going to have them together. But we definitely want him into one steam tank. Um, Carl does have quite a bit of HP. Uh, his melee defense is a little shaky. Uh, but he does magic damage, which should pierce through them. I don't think they have... No, they don't have any magic resistance. So it should pierce through them. Um... And just keep them occupied. Uh, and then this guy, we want the terror people. What is this? Oh, he's got slippery. Yeah. Um, we want the terror people. I hope this guy's mounted. I'm not sure if he is or not. Um, I should have checked it before I clicked into the battle. If he's level two, he's mounted. Um, what's his HP? His HP is the same as this guy. Although they don't get HP when they level up. I don't know. We'll see. So I gave him both Terror, though. Carl, I could give him Terror, but the thing is he's going to be into the Steam Tanks, and they're unbreakable, so you can't scare them. Um, now, I do have some reduction things with Carl. I've got Glittering Scales. That's going to be negative 8, and it's going to give him negative 34 to melee attack. Um, so both of those are very strong. So they're going to have, what, negative 40, and I have a natural 38 defense. Um, so this should be pretty good. And he does heavy armor-piercing damage, has a huge charge bonus. So if we keep cycling charges on him, I think we can take him down. As far as the demigriffs, you know, just put the halberdiers on them or the spears. Either one's fine. Um, we want the crossbowmen... Probably on their gunners. God, they just have so much artillery. The crossbowmen on their gunners. Um, the great swords have too much uh, armor to really pierce through those. Although if we get, you know, shots at the great swords, great. Um, halberdiers and swordsmen are also good targets, especially the halberdiers because they don't have a shield. Um, pistoliers. We're just going to try to run to the back. I mean, we could try to use the Pistoliers to get into the Great Cannons just to charge them and shut them up. Um, I mean, it's going to be a rowdy fight. We need to preserve as much as possible because we have those, you know, three 20 stacks of Chaos to the north. Uh, I still haven't figured out a good solution to that. I forgot that once I engage this battle, I can't go back and look. So I still don't know what I'm going to do with the Lord in the upper left. We'll think about it here in a minute. It might depend on how well we do in this fight. Let's go ahead and get in there. So I need to... The problem is, like, yes, I need, like, a brewery or a refectory or, or whatever it's called that gives public order for Empire. But the bottom right, Grunsberg, is just so susceptible to everything. Telebic land, vampires, everything. Um, and it just keeps getting sacked and taken, and that causes huge public order penalties, so I would get a rebellion anyways. And I just don't have space. Like, I need so many techs here. I mean, I guess I could have gotten one instead of gates on the left side, but... You know, if Bretonia declares war with me over there, I just don't even know. Okay, so our rebel army is coming in from the back, or our um, reinforcements are coming in from the back. That's not awesome, but it's okay, I guess. It's not right, but it's okay, is what Whitney Houston might say. For those of you that, uh, you know, might be 25 or older and remember that. 
Um, I did notice that we have quite a uh, quite a uh, mature age channel here, which is pretty cool. I love that. I love seeing people that are still gaming on their, you know, 25, 30, 40 and up, 60. Because I, I think that gaming just gets a bad rap, or it used to. I think it's definitely changing. I think it used to get a bad rap as just being, you know, kind of this thing that you would do in your basement when you're a teenager, and then once you were quote-unquote an adult, you don't game anymore. I think people are realizing that... Gaming, I think, is one of the most rewarding entertainment experiences. It's so much better than TV because you're actively involved in it. You're making choices. You're actually using your brain and not just um, consuming, you know, media. You're also participating in it. Um, there's lots of theories about that that maybe I'll talk about in the educational section at some point. Um, you know, when I get around to doing that, I've just been so busy just trying to keep up with the gaming content. It's been hard. Um, let me just see what changed here really quick with the magic. I don't think I did it with Empire. I did it with another campaign that I can't remember. Um, maybe, no, I did do it with Empire. I did do it with Empire. Uh, but I didn't look at, uh, I didn't look at his stuff here. So, this was the big one. This still affects everybody. That's 45 meters now instead of, um, whatever it was, instead of 30. I think it lasts longer. Double do. Just extended duration, so 52 seconds for four. So you get twice as much. You have a miscast chance, but whatever. I mean, that's a very long time for the same cooldown, too. The cooldown doesn't change. So for four extra points, you basically get double spell. So that's very good. Um, I don't know if these got buffed or what, like, what the deal is. Um,. It's still the same deal. Uh, you get you get extra 30 armor if you double pump it. So I might double tap that. Who would I put that on though? Probably whoever's fighting the demigriffs. Maybe demigriffs have heavy piercing. All of their stuff has heavy piercing. I don't know. Um, that's close enough to 15. We'll just go ahead and start the point with that. I don't want to risk going down to like two or something. So, do this. Now, we're just going to get gunned down by this mis these missile units. And what I could try to do is fly Carl out there to kite shots, but they're pretty AI is pretty smart these days. Um, and they don't just go for the first person in front. At least that's been my experience recently. Um, so, these guys are our cavalry. And this is just our grunt infantry. Ideally, we want the halberdiers into the demigriffs, but, you know... We'll see what we can get. Nope, not them. I need to grab my... Okay. So these guys should be running out ahead, so maybe they fire at them. Uh, Malkador just needs to kind of hang back. So we're going to pull Carl up there first. Alright, let's go. So we don't get to get the kind of perfect strategy that we wanted before. We're already going to have some decent flanking. I don't know what how they're gonna to respond to this. Okay, they're just actually firing up here. Okay. It's really annoying with the realistic camera when uh, you have two armies. So I need to see to get over here and just like swoop down and just shut this up if I can, and then just like run. Since they have them so exposed there. Jeez, I forgot about all those Outriders. those at all. Oh jeez, get get out, get out, get out. God, Carl's just getting wrecked. Get these into those. Cannon 
things are tearing me up. Uh, where is this? Get in there, Carl. Dang, he got messed up. I did not like that at all. Jeez, get out, get out, get out. He's getting ganged. Oh, where's the, uh... Uh, I think I hit the wrong person with that. Oops. Um. Yeah, right there. Shoot them in the back. Shoot them in the back. Carl's getting messed up. I don't want this at all. Okay, they're kiting me. Let's get out of that. Uh, let's get over here and shoot these dinagers in the back. Get this guy out of there. Like he might die. Alright, let's do this. Uh, where's a Comet of Cassandora? God, so huge. Um. Just use a lightning bolt and strike them right here. I foresee their deaths. The Empire is gone. Okay, it tickled them. Oh. We've got to get someone over here to deal with that. Shoot these guys. Yeah, this was not the kind of performance that I wanted from Carl. I used him a little too liberally. Um, Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. They just, like, rallied out of nowhere. And just, like, came on me immediately. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. Like, they've got me pinned up against these walls here. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 What? They rallied back and now they're shooting? This is so, like... Ugh. Steam tanks are just so nasty, like... I just wanted to cast, uh... Cast a spell on him. Speaking of which, what do we have here? Let's see if we can lower that armor a little bit. Charge in there. Okay, 
Okay, so everyone's running except for the steam tank because they can't run. They can kite though. They've got the lord, it looks like. Good job. So stupid that thing can kite. No, 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 no. He's gonna try to snipe this guy. Or he's gonna go after him. Can we kill this thing? Like, get on it. So heavily armored. Run. Where's this guy? I had someone running in. Yeah, get over here, kill this thing. I mean, I love steam tanks. I want to get one, but I mean. Turn 40. God, all my characters are just so banged up. This, like, this thing's taking five units by itself. Watch the friendly fire. Where are the rest of my units? Like, get over here and surround this thing. Charge in there. Okay, good. Did some damage. fire my missiles into there. That yeah, should about do it. God. I mean... Yeah. Pretty much everything died, so now I'm not going to be able to defend against that Chaos Horde, most likely. Mm. I mean, maybe? Maybe. I can hire more units this turn, so I can combine some of these. Like these Lord guys are the guys that are the big time problem. I can work with that much health with Carl, probably. He can just, like, charge into the back of people. <clears throat> That's it. Well, we're also going to have to chase it down. Now, these things better be dead. We're probably going to have to chase it down. I really wish I'd killed that entire cannon crew. The cannons didn't do that much. Yeah, actually, they did. They did quite a lot. That one did. I mean, I even had them tied up with Carl a lot, and they still did, killed a lot of things. Um, Demigos did some pretty good work. We neutralized those great swords, that was good. I didn't really do anything. It was just these dang steam tanks. I mean, 232 units killed. Like, I had like four units on them the entire game and just can't even scratch them. I mean, you get money out of it, but not worth. I mean, we didn't lose battalions. Like, technically, we made money on this. Probably, but the problem is that. You know, Carl, mostly that Carl is really hurt off of this, and that this guy's pretty hurt. This guy's not as important as Carl, but they're just really hurt off of some Miss Micros. Alright. Moving off! The nation cool. That's all good. Um. 
Replenishment? Okay, I do have Restore. So if I go into town, it'll probably be nice. What is this? Uh, how much? He does do pretty good damage. I mean, 36 seconds is quite a long time. 45 second cooldown. Means I can just charge in and pop that. The charge bonus of 50, that put me at 95 attack. And all of a sudden I would be at uh, 130 attack. That's almost 100%, or, I mean, it's going to be like 85% chance to hit anything. Or I could try to get over here faster and get to Provider faster. Give me another 20% replenishment. How hurt is this guy? Kind of hurt, but I can heal him up a little bit here. Can move. I refuse. Hmm. Praise Sigma. I really need to be able to beat this army with just him. Like Who I need calls? Carl to be able to move the other way. God, there's so much chaos. Like, why is there so much chaos corruption here? I mean, for real. Events one. Oh, it's going down now a little bit. Okay, Isle Heart, I can build things. Probably need to upgrade that. I'm so tight on money right now. I command here. So what I'm thinking is, I could hand this guy off, potentially now. Is this just the army gets healed? In own, in owned local region. Okay, so it applies to everybody in this region. Um, I will marshal the bed. You notice these guys were replenishing more because they didn't get that penalty, I don't think. Casualty replenishment penalty. Yeah, they don't have it because they weren't the main army. Um... By Sigma, no! Ready! I'm not gonna be able. Like, really, what I wanna do is move, like, at least one of these heroes, like, potentially this guy over to here, and then just attack with just this guy. Summon and the not Electa Cuts. have to bring Carl all the way down there. Yes? I'll ignore just, that. I'm not sure if I can beat this by the myself. Empire. I mean, this they don't have a lord. Sigma forbids this. They still have demigriffs, but they don't have a lot of elves. I don't have any crossbowmen. I would just have to do it with the pistoliers that are pretty banged up. No. Cannons are a problem. What? But if I could just bring like this one lord over there, I mean, I can try it. I can try it. The thing is, I think it's going to bring the movement speed down a little bit if I do that. Go ahead and just switch him over there and just see if I can make the attack. If I can't, I can just reinforce and send Bring Carl to, to go do it. If I have to, and yes. then just give up on Wiesman, I guess. Um, Field of fate. Okay, I can still do it. What does the Emperor bid? Alright, so... I should still get the replenishment with Carl, yes. And once I get into this town, I should be able to heal, and then I think run to Wiesman next turn. They're not going to be able to hit it this turn. So I should be able to heal and get good units here. Who calls? We do have recruitment capacity. Um, we need to switch this over to recruitment. We're going to be recruiting everywhere, every turn. So we kind of need to save money as well. But, okay, so I think I can do this fight with just this group. This action does not have my consent. It's possible I could bring this guy over too, but he's so hurt. I think I just need to have him chill and replenish for a turn and just not risk dying. Um, to the provinces. Okay, so this is going to be still a fairly close fight, I think. Absolutely not. Because they have those demigriffs. 
Yes, do my have lord. spears. It's totally possible I should combine these. Not likely. I'm trying to think of how this is going to go down. I mean, I just want to be safe and make sure that I get it, so I'm going to get this upgrade. It's pretty good on the charge. Um, it will delay me from getting a full provider upgrade, but it's it's a pretty good one point wonder here. Um, on a really nice cooldown, so we'll get it. We I can use it this turn, back. and let's go ahead and fight this. I think we can win this with the spears. We have a hero and a lord. Hero's a little banged up. The lord's still in great shape on mounts. So I think we can win it. It is war. Um, so I could auto-resolve it. I think I probably will. It might kill off a couple of units, because the cannons just always get crazy auto-resolve results. But I think it'll be okay. I mean, that's it's in this campaign where that's really happened. I mean, I don't want to lose a lot of horses and have this guy down to, like, one health, though. I guess I'll auto-resolve it. Let's just see. Okay, that's pretty good. They didn't screw us over on that one. Although this guy is down to like one health, like predicted. Um, so that's not cool, but he will heal up, I think. Was it 38? Yeah, I don't think I could have done much better than that. That's probably about right, honestly. Because I would have used, I probably would have used him to tank more though. I probably could have gotten slightly better results if I did it on my own. Um, obviously need the money, but I also need replenishment, and I'm also a little concerned because I might have to fight Vampire Counts here soon. Let's just take the cash. We march. The nation calls. All right, so let's take a look here. Steel. What? And Malkador. It's hard to tell how much impact he's having because it's like debuffs. I think he's I think he's doing a great job so far though. So I do have another terror, but it's not good on him. He's not gonna be in the fight. What is this? Sure, why not? Um, oh, he can get a warhorse now. Okay, well, I definitely want that then. That'll actually give him a little bit of fight, sort of, if I need to charge somebody. More importantly, it'll give him the ability to get away from people, though. I think it's something I'm really like, looking for. Um, power drain's really good, too. It's actually very, very good. But the warhorse for the speed, just so he can get to situations and get away from dangerous situations. Uh, I think that's really where we want to be. Also, in a pinch, he can charge and do a little bit of damage. Just mounts just give so much extra versatility. Let's see if they changed anything over here. I don't think they did. No. Um. Power Drain is exceptionally powerful, but I think I just want the utility. What do I get if I get a Bardic Warhorse? Um, a little bit more armor. I think. Let me just get through this. And see what. I am Prince. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Emperor. Okay, so now he has a 30 charge bonus. Pretty good, and he has 80 speed, so that's good. Now he can get around. Um, if he charges, he'll have 55 attack. And he'll do some impact damage. And he does plus 10 to large, so he's okay. Um, now if it's barded, what do we get? Almost nothing. We get a little bit more armor. I think we'll just hold off for the Pegasus. Which, once again, gives us almost nothing. It gives us a lot of speed. 
but we're just not going to get a lot of charge bonus with him. That's okay. He's not meant to fight, he's meant to think. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do Carl then. Pegasus Leader of Men. He's eventually going to get Deathclaw very soon, two turns, so I don't need to upgrade his mount. Um, what's going Scarred Veteran with him? Because he scales very well with health. Now, Quartermaster is very good. Like, I really need to get to Quartermaster and this Logician. I just, I just did not respect the cost. Like, I really, really need to deal with like high cost armies because I just can't afford any cool units Carl's already strong enough I mean his charge bonus is 91 do I really need another 18 attack he's gonna be hitting everything for the maximum amount he's already dealing a lot of damage especially once he gets Deathclaw that's gonna go up a lot it doesn't look like a lot there but I think it's gonna be a lot I don't know um, yeah I mean all of these are cool I'll go ahead and finish this just because it's 14% extra health, just straight up. Um, I sh in hindsight, I should have done probably two more points in Devastating Charge, if at all. And I, I need to get down here and start doing this. Um, these aren't that great, honestly. Fervent, maybe? I mean, I guess Leader of Renown is kind of okay. I usually don't like recruitment cost reductions, but maybe that's okay. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and get Scarred Veteran, though, just because I already have two points in it. Um, but I think, in hindsight, this is probably a mistake to go down this tree. I just have a newfound respect for this upkeep reduction. It's so important for cost. Because we're just, as you can tell, we're just so hurt for cash all the time, and I really, really just need another army, and I just can't get one. It is time. I might have to hire yeah, one right. right now, though, and just go into the red for a little bit. Um, that's on the table. Okay, so what is our game plan? So for down here, um, Ready. we've already moved all this stuff. He's probably going to take Wiesenberg if he's clever and does that, but there's a chance he could go for Grunberg. Um, what does the Emperor bid? Now... So, I have the option of hiring units uh, here with this guy. So I could hire up to one, two, three, four, five, six new units. Now, great swords take two turns, so that's pretty good bargain. Um, they're not even that expensive. They're kind of expensive. We definitely go into the red. Um. So I think great swords are better to rush than demigriffs, just because they only take two turns. I mean, you don't have time to sit there for three turns and hire things. At least not in this campaign, I don't. Not yet. We will get these eventually. We just... We don't even have one turn to take a breath, right? Like, it's just constant. It's a constant stream of um, Tom Fulry. Every corner. Um, I like that word. That's, that's a really fun, like, old-school word. My friend used to say that... Uh, Back when I worked at McDonald's in my teenage years, um, he worked there too, and he just liked it. I just loved it. It was like this old-timey, like, geezer word. Um, no offense to anyone that loves Tom Foley. Obviously, I use it a lot. I'm kind of an old-timey geezer now. Um, but I just think it's a hilarious word. Um, okay, so we've got six recruitment slots. How many recruitment slots do we have here? I can't tell. He's in there right now, right? Yeah. So we've got five over here, so we need to utilize that. We need to hire 11 units this turn, for sure. The question is, this guy. So, I can't hire anything in Marienburg. The Empire. So the question is, do I come down here, do I let Marienburg fall? It's going to fall to Marienburg Rebels soon, because we're getting a Rebellion next turn. Do I just let it fall, and just deal with that later? Now, I don't have that much built here. I think this will get cancelled. Um... I would lose the port, but that comes stock, automatic, when I take it. So I could just let the rebels have Marienburg. Never. The problem is, 
once I let them have Marienburg, then they're going to take Isleheart. And once they take Marienburg, they're going to have a 20 stack, and they're going to be sitting in Marienburg. And then I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have to have an army pinned here, just so they don't take Isleheart. And I'm going to have to have two armies to take Marienburg, probably. On the same, at the same time. I refuse. Now Nordland, I think I've already looked. They don't want to be my friend, right? Greetings, my countrymen. No, are they at war with Chaos? They are. So there's a chance that Nordland no. could step up to the plate. They already fought off the um, these guys for me, so that's pretty cool. These guys. I will not obey. I what are they doing? It's all. They're just running. I don't know where they're going. Um, and these guys are going to start sieging immediately next turn, so I probably have two turns before they burn Middenheim. So I'm going to need Carl to run up here and deal with that. So I, my options are I can run Carl over to here higher. Now he needs to be in a town so he can replenish, ideally. If I go into a town, it's going to let me just walk into this town. I command here. here. It's gonna be a lot, I think. Pick up the pace. Yeah. So I get a lot of replenishment if I sit in a town, and I can hire with Carl in this town. Then I could bring him over to here and just sit right on the edge, and then hire yes, a lot of units here as well. I don't need a lot of units with them to take these guys, no. but let's see, another option, I could hire, I could run these guys down to here to deal with this, I could hire a lord. At Vismund. Let me see what kind of wards we have here. We, have any, we do not have any free wards, unfortunately. I thought we still had a free one, but I guess not. Um, how much? It's going to cost an extra 700 per turn to hire a lord. Wow. So I'm going to go like, and then if I hire, have to hire units for it, you know, that's going to cost. It's going to be in the thousand, and then it's probably going to be like 1,600, 1,700 per turn range. Um, that means I'm going to have probably five turns, but that's all I really need. Like, I just need a couple of turns just to deal with these guys, and then I can get rid of him. I will On the other hand, I could run him over to here to deal with this. Then I could make a lord in Isleheart, but the problem is, I guess I could make a lord in Karaburg and hire and then try to run over here next turn. The problem is we're going to get a rebellion right here and it's going to be getting extra units every single turn. Ready. So this, he can handle it. I think he can handle a rebellion by himself. Twelve, they're going to have eight units. It shouldn't be that strong because they're only tier two. And Twelve on eight. My guy's a little banged up, but I think we can do it. We have a lot of upgrades. I could hire Lord over here. Um, hire a bunch of units. Now. I can hire a bunch of units with Carl. Now something else I could do is I could hire a Lord, hire a bunch of units here, um, and then hire a bunch of units what does the Emperor bid? here to make sure I can deal with the vampire cows. Never so. Can't hire a lord here. I could hire a lord in Altdorf. Move Carl up. I think Carl has to be here because he needs to be in a town. He needs to heal. So that's the end of the story. Carl has to be here. Um, the only question is, how do I want to maximize my recruitment capacity here? No. I think this might might be enough to deal. Is it time? with um, the vampire no. counts. Not him of, no. by himself, of yes. course, but 
if he's running down here to help. I am the Supreme Patriot. Be 15, basically, uh, we'll call it 11 units after all the casualties. That's a little bit more. I mean, maybe I give this guy two units. Just a couple more. Maybe like one more pistolier, one more unit of spearmen. And then I give Summon Carl the, the rest. Counts. I just give him a bunch of um, spearmen to hold the line. Maybe a couple of swordsmen. I mean, those swordsmen and the spearmen are very good. Do they have large units yet? Not really. So, I think what I'm going to do... Okay, so let's move a little bit more. I mean, heck, he may come up here. This would be the best case scenario is if he comes up here to mess with me. And leaves Balthazar alone for a turn. Onward. So let's go right here. Just so we're in a good position where if we have to, we can dash down here probably next turn. Let's hire... Um... One yes, pistolier. A sound plan. One spearman. Because I can just charge in the back. I think I like the spearman, as a subscriber suggested, with Empire, just to hold the line. They have the highest defense, they have shields. And then with the swordsman, um, they do more damage, but I can just rely on charging in the back with these guys or shooting in the back with uh, pistoliers. So we'll do two here. And we'll have Carl sit here. Bring me to my men. We will make. What do we need here? We're against chaos. I think this is enough to deal with their shenanigans. Um, probably just spearmen. Spearmen are also the cheapest. The swordsmen are about the same. We don't need halberdiers. Um, As you say. I think just. A lot of spearmen, right? That's 40, 57, that's 97 combat effectiveness. They have 98. Um, but I get a bonus to large. And it emphasizes defense, which is what I need to do. I just need to hold the line while I gun them up with uh, the crossbowmen. So I think that sounds good. Um, okay, so that's that. I am going to replenish its so time. So that's helpful. Now, I hope he still counts as being in the local region. I think the so. I didn't consider that, but if I move outside range, because I don't know what where the boundary line is here. I think it's, like, right here for Grunsberg. Because if I move into Grunsberg, because it doesn't say province, it says local region. So if I move into Grunsberg, I think I would lose replenishment. By the comet. But I think we're good um, here. So the final puzzle piece, I think, is move down here. Maybe hire one unit, just to be on the safe side. Make sure I can kill that rebellion. Um, on march. Right here, what's higher? I just, I really need to maximize. Like, do I need that one unit? Because I'm going to hire a lord here and beastman. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be painful, but wait, who's the best one? Line of sight. Any leadership is pretty good. Leadership plus six. Um, who's the highest level? Maybe that's something to go with. This misshapen guy is the highest level. Wait, why do I have to pay for him if I've already leveled him up? Maybe I inherited him. Maybe that's what it was. I inherited him. Yeah, that stupid skill breakdown indicates that I probably inherited him. I mean, I wouldn't get all... I wouldn't get those three skills like that. I wouldn't get the character skill before I finish the battle skills. So this is an inherited person from a um, confederation. Okay. Mm, that hurts. Okay, so we gotta hire him. Who calls? And... What, we need things that are gonna complement this army. And so Emperor. this is pretty balanced. I think just an even split it of is time. range and melee. The nation calls. All right, in here, I think one more crossbowman would be good. So let's go ahead and get one more, for the best. just to make absolutely sure that we can deal with this. This will be 13 on eight for the rebellions. That way, even if they have like some great swords or something, I think we should still be okay. Um, the empire and over here will hire. Sigma's will. 
three and one crossbow. So you don't want too many crossbows. I want about a third of the no. army to be crossbows, and we've kind of got that. We've got five, we'll have six. You also don't want too much infantry. Praise Sigma. Let's go one more crossbow. Crossbows are a little more expensive also. That's something to consider, but... It's going to be very, very expensive next turn. Like I said, we're going to be probably in the thousand gold deficit range. So we're going to have to kill these things and just, like, get rid of a bunch of stuff, basically, after we deal with some problems. Um... I'm really tempted like, to get rid of this gate now. Or to cancel it. We'll see what happens next turn with the money. Um, we're not building anything in Grunsberg. How fast? So this is 1500 and it gives us 125. So that means it pays for itself in like... 12 turns or so. I just don't know if we have the money to afford that right now. I'm trying to think. Where's this tackle working on? Uh, I guess. Just looking at these again. Uh, that right there is something I desperately need. <sighs> Weapon strength for Empire units. I mean, that's good, but I really... Really need this. That other one's cute. This is, like, necessary, like, with a capital N. Like, I really, really need cost reduction right now. Um, Pistoliers and Outriders. Just looking to see if there's any other cost reduction stuff. Or money stuff. I mean, that's okay. We don't have a lot of ports yet. Yeah, I think this is it right here. All infantry. I think that includes missile infantry. So that's everything. I mean, that's going to be 500 gold a turn or something. Like, what's my upkeep right now? Almost 9,000. And I would say that at least 90% of that is probably infantry. So, yeah, 5% of that is like 400... 500 gold per turn. So if I got an army, if I could get 15% on all my armies, I would get an extra like 2,000 gold per turn. Yes. Okay, now I need to switch that tech over because we just we're so strapped for cash. Okay, I think this is probably going to be it. Um, I'm going to hold off on making that. It is a good investment to upgrade this, but we just don't have the money. We just can't play around. Like we've got too many things going on. Okay. I uh, think that's going to be it. We looked at diplomacy already. Make sure everybody's moved. This is such a precarious campaign. Like, one misstep, and that could be just potentially campaign ending. That's why I'm just being very, very careful. And there's so many different options. And it's not clear at all what the optimal move is. Okay, let's do it. I mean, if we were just abusing auto resolve and just running around, oh my gosh, thank God. Whew. All right, that makes me feel a lot better. They didn't see the ultimate play there I was talking about. They could have probably taken that town, Grunsberg. They played it safe. All right, well they killed that army. Only one army is sieging. That's good, I guess. Oh, I could have combined some units. That's what I should have done. Burn it, burn it. Okay. I mean, they do get growth if they burn it, so it's not great, but there, at least there won't be rebels. Well, actually, no, I had a money building here, so I kind of didn't want them to burn it, but whatever. Uh, can, I, can I win this? I don't have a lord. I have a chariot. Uh, no, I can't win it. I'm going to win it. No way. Oh, they just sacked it. Okay. And they're running. Okay. So this looks pretty fortuitous for us so far. Manfred just straight ran away. 
assault unit. Okay. What? Okay. It's fine. Where? Over there. Ostermark. A battle wizard over here. Huh. Alright. What's that for? I know it's for one of his quest items. Which one is it? Amulet of... Okay, so we need to assassinate something I'm dead. Uh, no, I just looked at that one. Defensive Alliance. Okay, gun gore, move any character. Battle Wizard and Ostermark. Galmarize. I think that's a pretty good item. We still have the money. Like, it costs 5000 to get teleported to one of these quest battles. Um, okay, so what's their game? This guy backed up. So it looks like he's going for Talibic land. This guy is not in range to attack. Did this guy just spawn here? Or is he already here? Wait, what is that? Did I not hire any units with him? Hold on, what just happened? By the comet. I hired units with somebody. Who calls? Right? What? Wait, what? What just happened? Ready. What? What? The nation. Did I cancel? Calls. It's charging me a lot of money, like I should have had units there. Yes, my lord. I, I mean, what the... Here. To the provinces. Did it glitch? What happened? What? Hold on. Okay, so at the end of the turn, I had 4,000 gold. Let me read the events here. Rebellion. Okay, yep. Nuremberg like Rebels. Me. We can beat that. Assault Hero Failure. Where's that? Right here. Okay, so he tried to assault me. It failed. War Declared. Okay. Faction. Okay. Uh, we lost that. Enemy Siege. Raiding. Quest. Like... If they try to assault you, does it cancel your building? Because I had 4,000 at the end of last turn, right? I'm not just making that up. I had 4,000 at the end of last turn. I was hiring now. five units right here. I was hiring three spearmen with shields and two crossbowmen. I had 4,000 gold. So this is giving me back about 2,000 gold. Why can't I recruit? Oh, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, because he, uh, he sieged Middenheim, and that's what has my recruitment center on it, that's what it is, and if your recruitment center gets sieged, then you lose your recruitment before next turn, okay, got it, got it, I'm not crazy, they're not hacking, I just didn't think of that move, gotcha, so that means he didn't get one more person either, but their tech is so low that I think, I think we can probably beat them up anyways. So we're not going to have enough army to chase these clowns down. We don't have enough time for that either. Okay, how are we looking on time here? Speaking of time. 233. I forgot to see when we start. Forgive me, I'm just going to press it. Just because we really need to keep these at 45. Just, oh, jeez, it's at 54. Um, just so that I can actually render and get them up. Because right now they're taking, like, an hour and a half or two hours. This patch or something with OBS, I don't really know what changed, but it's it's like these videos are like five gigs or something, and they're insane. Maybe the graphics just got about better? I, I don't know. Maybe I did something with OBS that's costing a lot. 
I have no idea. But they're just massive and they take forever to upload. Absolutely not. I've been trying to figure out a way to make them less, like, take up less space without being less quality, but I haven't figured I it out yet. That. By the okay, well, we're past time. So I guess we'll just save this for next episode. I feel like I talked a lot this episode. I mean, I talk a lot almost every episode. But these choices are legit, like, so hard. They didn't make the craziest places that they're going to make. I thought they are going to have two sitting here. This guy was going to come over here full steam ahead. And I thought that Manfred for sure was going to come down here and make that play. Oh, he ran over here. I was like, let's say, did he go invisible or what? Um, it is time. Okay, good. Well, at least now we have this army. And we're able to preserve this, so it's a good thing we didn't get rid of these buildings, because now we get to keep them. Um, but we'll figure it out next turn. I think what I want to do now is I could what? potentially move up get rid of some of these units it's dicey though but I could get rid of some of these units at least to save some money um maybe rotate over and take care of some of these undead things now I mean is no one fighting the undead like they have like three armies up here because they're at war with Talbic land and Telia like Averland's cool with that I mean Like, whenever I play Undead, like, it is, it's legit. Like, everybody hates you, and they are constantly, it's like a non-stop flow. It's kind of like with Empire, just at all corners, just crazy stuff happening to you. But anyways, we'll save it for next episode. So, we're able to get some replenishment here. It's very strong, very good. Um, I mean, if they're just going to sit there, I might be able to chill here for one more turn and just hire a couple more units. Actually, no, I can't. I have to come up here and deal with this. Um, so because these guys split up, I should be able to beat this army and run up here. I should be able to run, like, dash up with Rudy now, because I don't have to support South. And both of these armies combined should be able to take care of one Chaos army. So I can get rid of this guy. So it's kind of wasted 825 gold, maybe perhaps 1500 gold but it was an insurance policy and I didn't think about the sieging thing if I would have known about that sieging thing I just wouldn't have even created this so, so I just once again one little misstep ended up costing me about 1500 gold um, which is a big deal but um, anyways thank you very much hope you enjoyed this uh, Empire campaign it's a lot of fun to play it's really challenging to sort of work our way through this puzzle and just think about all the different permutations of moves they could make and how I need to respond to that in different ways um, it's it's great, you know. It's a strategy a strategy lovers paradise here uh, because there's just so many like different options. Um, I feel like Empire might be the most complex campaign so far because I'm just completely surrounded by all kinds of different threats. As I've said before, everything from vampires to chaos, humans, Bretonians, dwarves. I mean, all these people could go hostile at any moment. Um, uh, very complicated politics uh, throughout the entire campaign and just very complicated unit choices like there's just really good what units the there's lots of good buildings that make those units we have to make a lot of choices money's tight um, you know there's just a lot of good things going on lots of versatility lots of different viable strategies I just I love the Empire they're a ton of fun I think the other races are really fun too um, I will say for the greenskins and the dwarves like, usually about this time in the campaign, you know, turns, by turn 50 or so, I usually have this area kind of locked up, and so that allows me to focus my forces on a, a greater front. I mean, those campaigns are great, they're fun, they're awesome, but um, they're, I, I don't think they're as challenging as Empire. I feel like Empire is really hard, Vampire Counts feel really hard, um... I think Empire might be the hardest. I mean, Chaos is extremely hard, too. I don't have a full Chaos campaign yet, but um, they're all hard in their own way. Beastman's very challenging in its own way. Um, they're all pretty pretty hard and pretty fun, so definitely check those out. If you've just been watching Empire so far and you're kind of waiting for the next episode, I usually release about one every day or two um, for each campaign, but if you're waiting for the next episode, check out the other ones. They're great. Um, yeah. 
and all of them are pure campaigns so that means that there's no uh auto resolve abuse or any other kind of exploitation all of those as well um we also have league of legends if you're interested in that trying to get to diamond by playing support every single game pretty interesting series going on there um and yeah, if you watch a few different videos and you enjoy them, consider liking, subscribing, telling your friends, watching more videos, doing anything that you can um, to help increase the visibility on YouTube. It's just super awesome, and I greatly appreciate it. It helps other people um, figure out that we have good content going on in this channel, and then they can come in and enjoy the same kind of content that I hope you're enjoying as well. So um, it really helps out um, other people. And of course, it helps me out a ton. You know, I always want as many viewers as possible. Um, I love this series. I love doing these for you guys and gals. It's a, it's a ton of fun. Um, and I hope you're enjoying yourselves as well. So uh, thank you very much. Hope to see you next episode. And have a wonderful evening.